Ship to contact names is a feature that can be configured in System 5 to allow you to set a ship to associated with a given customer record. Now this can be very useful if you're shipping to specific contacts or you want to track particular employees dealing with uniforms or particularly inventory items that you're delivering to a specific employee at a business. So to turn this option on, I can head into the setup wizard and I'm just going to do a search in the setup wizard for ship to contact. If I scroll down, we've got an option to use contact names on an invoice. It does typically default to off. There is also an option to set the ship to contact sub tab as the default. And this may be the behavior that you're looking for in, uh, in that functionality on the invoice. So if I go ahead and just create a work order for its misconstruction, what I can choose to do is when selling some inventory items, I can choose to go to ship to tab and it's going to bring me up a listing of all the contact records that are associated with Smith Construction. And these are defined, if I were to just take a look at Smith Construction's customer record, they're defined with the primary contact as Bob, who's the owner. I can choose on the Ship To tab to indicate that this particular invoice with the items associated with it, so I've got some uh, hydrochloric acid, want to make sure that uh, I know who I'm giving that to, and uh, we can set the Ship To contact here as Tim Johnson. When I print my invoice now, we've got a few things that are going to happen. Of course, the ship to is going to indicate that this is Tim receiving these items. But also, when I've completed this transaction, so we go take a look at Smith Construction, and that's going to make it really easy to see what's going on with my invoices. Heading to the Invoice tab, it's going to show me my contact ship tos to make it easy to see what's going on. So I can see I've got a, here's a transaction for Tim, for Brad, also Mary Smith. We can also go run statements. With our statement printing, we may want to choose to just print current invoices so that when we preview that, we'd be looking at the statement as well as optionally a, uh, a next invoice showing the ship to contact information printed.